Welcome back to our Vanagon AC overhaul. In the last video, we pulled down the evaporator core, and today we are going to be working on getting all of these rubber lines out of the car, and they go everywhere. We have them loose on the compressor over here. This one, this one has an Allen key retaining the hose. This one, I believe, goes all the way to the condenser in the front. This one is the one that's right here. This line we are going to pull down and out rather than trying to make that bend. The other line here from the evaporator core goes to the dryer. So that sneaks down into a hole right here and into another hole right over there and then down underneath the car. So. We'll get this one out, and then we're going to start on the one for the uh, dryer line to get this out. Um, let's see where this comes out underneath. All right. That's where it pops out. And the fender well there, and it runs over to the dryer. And it's on the inside. This one we already disconnected on this side, 19 millimeter. The fittings actually have not been crazy tight. They all come loose. This, we're going to have to probably remove the screws on the dryer so I can pull it out and get a wrench on uh, there to do it. There's zip ties everywhere holding all the lines in. And where they come out here now, well, the one from the compressor is in there pops out over here and all of them and both of them come out under here through the frame and through these clips that run all the way up to the front the spare tire is going to need to be dropped out so we can get the uh these hoses off the bottom of the condenser. I want to get these out first so we can get them to the shop that's going to be remaking them. He found a guy that's local that says he could remake all these hoses. So that's my goal to get the hoses out to get them to the shop and then we'll work on removing the condenser afterwards. Let me, uh, out of these open. I think they drop. Push, pull. What? I'm going to need two hands. Oh, there we go. I'm going to save all this stuff to support them. If we could find new stuff, we will see. Let me get that dryer out right now. Looks like... I don't know, eight millimeter bolts. We'll see. All right, we got that one loose over here. We can start to feed that through that hole. Should be able to make that turn when it comes around. The other one has those uh, switches on it. And I'd rather not push them uh, without taking the switches off. It ain't going to fit through that hole. So it's got to go in that way. All right, there was a little strap over here. Kind of holding that hose. Got a wire here to get out of the way. Does that pull up a little bit at a time? Okay. This is going to require two hands. Alright, we have to have that fitting twisted out. So we're able to get it out of the hole, get to kind of finagle it around to get it where you want to go. And we should be able to feed this up. And it's still on that little rubber strap or that it goes through in there. And just push it through nice and slow. Hopefully we don't get a mess of oil coming out of this. we're going to leave on here for now. Uh, put 
this strip out. Let me get this end of the compressor hose disconnected here now too. I already have the Allen key sitting on it. And we do have a new compressor to put in also. That will do after I get these hoses out. We have all of our clips opened up. The little foam insulators are out. Now we're gonna to try to feed these through over here. The little rubber grommets are a little stiff and tight. This one popped out easy. The one on the other side does not want to come out. Let me see if I can get it now. Wiggle the hose back and forth. Yeah, that one's out now. This one should come through here. It's got to go through two layers here. There's a plate here and then the thickness of the frame through. So, And there's a little bit of a twist on the fitting. Well, not much. Alright, whatever. This one's bent. This one doesn't seem to want to budge at all. It's tight. Let me... Uh, Pull it back and forth here. Now, this one is stuck. Let me get a pry bar and, or a screwdriver and try to get that grommet out. Peel it out slow. It's the same size hole for two different size lines. After much cursing in German, we got that grommet out, so now we could feed this hose in here. There are some protective sleeves on the outside of this. I don't know if they're going to fit through. I might have to slice them off. That's going to be a tight squeeze. It just barely, jeez. These holes are not straight to each other either. It goes in at like an angle. I don't know if this is going to fit out this end because of the other port on the back. Let's see. I might have wasted my time trying to pull it out this way. But does it? Oh man, that's close. Look at that. Man, any closer than that. Never happened. Whew. All right. Now we got to get up to the front by the spare. So the spare tire's got to get dropped out. Let's get that out. Reposition ourselves. Spare tire carrier is down. We're at the bottom of the condenser here. We're going to have to remove the little... Uh, Go Westy deflector shield that's over here. Some Phillips head screws. And we'll get the connectors done. Now the lines are uh, bolted in place. Looks like with these little metal brackets over here and over there. And where does this go? Ooh, not fun. It goes into a little part of the frame over there. And then pops out at the into the wheel well. Let's see where over there. So got to pull it out of the frame over there. Bolt on clamp there, and then for some particular reason it goes down through the chassis over in front, up over there. Let's get all those unbolted. They look like 10 millimeters, I would guess, and more zip ties to snip. Okay, that's all disconnected. Got the condenser unhooked. All the fittings really didn't have a lot of a... Uh, one of them was kind of tight. You couldn't get the wrench in the one on the, uh, on the outside further away from me right now. But they all came undone. Now we have the lines 
hanging down here. All the brackets were disconnected. All the zip ties were snipped. Now here is my conundrum. You got a big bend on that end over there. And the same with this one. Uh, I was hoping to push these back, but I think we're gonna have to pull them all the way through. We're gonna do the smaller hose first, this one, pulling it up and out. And this way there'll be more room to get the big hose through that little oval shaped hole that's up there. This is really crazy in how this is run. But we will start tugging and pulling. We got oil dripping out of this one all over the place. We have to put a rag on that to cover that up. Let's see where we are in the wee what wheel well. I've already pulled some of this up through here. It's tight through that hole over there. And that's like an oval shaped hole. I don't know if there's a sleeve on the inside of that. So let's work on this hose, getting this out this way. There's a long way to go too. Success. That's the way to do it. You gotta pull it out through the front. That's the connector for the uh, condenser. The other one is straight on the other end that went to the dryer. So it's able to go through all those holes relatively easy. Now we gotta do the same thing with the larger, with the larger hose. That has a straight fitting that came off the back of the compressor. So we'll pull this whole mess uh, forward a little bit at a time. Kind of work here, you gotta pull from up there for a little bit, then come in here and pull forward and go back and forth. It would be nice if I had a helper here. David, unfortunately, couldn't be here today, so I'm stuck doing this by myself. Look at this crap. I got the hose all the way up here. It doesn't fit out of this oval-shaped hole. Ugh. Unbelievable. Hans and Franz, I curse you. Push it back the other way. And this was not that easy to get here. Or do I snip it off? And then a new hose can get pushed back in the right way. We may be snipping. Snip, we must. I already got part of it. There, now it'll go out. We're gonna take these fittings out. So when they go to the hose place, they won't get lost or busted. I don't know if he's going to be able to have an exact replacement for this, but we'll see what he's going to make. Here we go, a whole pile of AC hoses. David is going to pick them up and bring them to the place. I don't know how long it's going to take. Next time we'll be pulling out the condenser and, uh, Replacing the compressor probably Thanks for watching if you like this video, please do me a favor Give it a thumbs up. I gotta go clean my hands The hoses are back from the hydraulic shop Some of the ends they reused because they didn't have them some are new